Hello. How are you? All right, give yourselves a round of applause for coming out here. I'm so excited about this show. I'm obsessed with gays. I am. I'm always like, who is he? Is he gay? You know, who is she? Is she gay? How do I look? Do I look gay? I'm actually asking you, sir, in the front row, do I look gay? No, see, everyone always says I don't look gay, and I am gay. I am gay, and that's why I have LLE, low lesbian esteem. <laughs> no, it's real, because if you're gonna be marginalized, you at least wanna be acknowledged, you know? <laughs> like, I have to work extra hard to be discriminated against. I mean, let's be real, not too hard. I'm still black and a woman, so it's totally, <laughs> it's totally fine. I always try to come out, you know, because sometimes I've been at jobs where people didn't know I was gay, and sometimes, you know, they would be like homophobic. Like I was at this one job, and there was this guy in this cubicle next to me, and one day he was just so ignorant, he came all out of his face, he's like, gay men are disgusting, gay men are whores. And I was like, how ignorant is he? All men are whores, don't put that on the gays. <laughs> that is not gay specific. <laughs> it's also interesting because I have a friend where like, Everybody knows he's gay except him. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you have, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know that guy? Right, you know, like everybody, like at his job at Nordstrom where he is a buyer of women's shoes, <laughs> have somehow figured out that he's gay. Like everybody knows he's gay except him. And so I ran into him uh, at a gay bar on a Friday night, cause that's where straight men hang out on Friday nights. <laughs> You know, and I come up to him, I'm like, hey, baby, how you doing? He's like, oh my God, Glow, you won't believe this. A man hit on me. I was like, a man hit on you in a gay bar? How do you say it ain't so? And I was like, well, what did you do? He was like, well, I just totally handled it. I told him that I butter my bread this way and you butter your bread that way. I'm sorry. But that is about the gayest shit I have ever heard in my life. Bread buttering, what is this, brunch? What are you talking about? It's gay. And it's tricky sometimes being both black and gay because they say that black folks can be homophobic. Have you heard that? You know, if that's the case, I think it's because we've been oppressed, so we know how to oppress. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like we were in the slave quarters taking notes, like, use religion, don't forget the Bible. <laughs> I'm just kidding, because we weren't allowed to write, so that never, that never happened. Yeah, that joke is intersectional as a motherfucker, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I, um, I always try to come out, and I remember when I first came out, uh, it was on a Tuesday, and I uh, shattered my mother's dreams. Uh, we were riding in the car one day, and she was trying to set me up with this muscle-bound thug, otherwise known as a professional athlete. And so anyway, we're going on, and she was like, you know, I, I invited him over for brunch. And I was like, uh, mommy, you don't have to do that. I'm seeing someone. And like, you can see the little twinkle in her eye. And she's like, really, Glow? I'm like, yeah. She's like, well, does this person have a name? And I'm like, no, I refer to them as a grunt. Yeah, they have a name, ma. And she's like, well, what is their name? I was like, well, ma, their name is, um, their name is Cynthia. And my mother, forever the optimist, goes, what an interesting name for a man. <laughs> so, so interesting. And I'm like, Cynthia's not a man, Ma. Cynthia's my girlfriend. She's like, your girlfriend? You mean like me and my best friend, Joyce? I'm like, no, she's butch. More like your boyfriend, Chico. You know what I mean? It's just more like that. Recently, I was uh, in Arizona at Fur Fest. Clap if you've ever heard of Fur Fest. Uh-huh, one man, one man. And, um, <laughs> All right, I'll explain it to you just like I had to my mother. So Fur Fest is for the bears. Do you know what the bears are, right? You know, they're like a subset of a subset, you know? And so my mom's like, so where are you going? I was like, I'm going to Arizona to do Fur Fest. And she was like, I thought lesbians as a people were against fur. And I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> fur Fest, Fur Fest is the bears. And she was like, who are the bears? I was like, well, let's see. You know the gay men that like work out all the time and they go to the gym and they're really thin? And she was like, yeah. I was like, well, the bears are the ones that laugh at them. And I was like, let's just say they're very hairy and they don't avoid the buffet. And my mother was like, well, is there a female equivalent for like, is there a woman thing that's like very hairy and they don't avoid the buffet? I was like, unfortunately they call us lesbians, but we're working on it, you know? So, um, 
So we're there, you know, I'm at Fur Fest, and, you know, all, all these things are going on. There are all these activities outside by the pool. And this guy comes into the hotel, and he's, like, dressed in a suit, and he's got a briefcase, and he's getting ready to check in. And he goes up to the counter, and he's like, I'm here to check in. And there's a sister behind the counter, and she's like, um, uh, I don't know if you know when you booked this, but um, we, we got an event going on. <laughs> And he's like, well, what is it? Is it like a, like a bar mitzvah? And she's like, no, uh-uh, no, mm, mm It's um, it's an event. And he's like, well, like, is it a wedding? She's like, uh-uh, no, no, it's an event. And I was like, let me Gaggle translate for him. I was like, sir, they got three thousand gay men outside, and they don't know how they're gonna get the pool filters clean. Okay, <laughs> that's that's what's going on over there. He ran right on out. He ran out of the hotel. You know, but it is tricky being black and gay. I have a gay boy, a, a gay friend. He's a straight man. His name is Adrian. And he's straight and bless his heart, but like he's still like, he's still homophobic. Like he doesn't mean to be, but sometimes like stuff just comes out of his mouth, you know? Like we're watching TV one day and uh, Barack Obama was on there and I was like, you know, that's a good looking brother, right? You know, just cause I don't eat at the buffet don't mean I don't smell the food, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I was like, that's a good looking brother. And he was like, I don't know, I can't tell. I said, well, what do you mean you can't tell? He was like, mm, I can't judge men. And I'm like, wait a minute. So you mean to tell me that between like Barack Obama and let's say that fool that's in the White House right now with his this and his this and his this, you can't look at those two men and see which one of them look better. You can't judge that. He was like, I told you I ain't down with that gay shit. And I was like, fool, I didn't ask you to bend over or drop to your knees. I just asked you a simple question. Which one of those men look better? He was like, I'm physically incapable. <laughs> what, you got gay cataracts now? Gay coma? You can't... <laughs> it's ridiculous. I, um... I realized uh, a friend was trying to set me up, and uh, that's when I realized I have PTSD, post-traumatic slavery disorder. No, it's real. So, like, she's trying to set me up, and she's telling me about this woman, and I'm, like, here, and I was like, oh, she's GOP. She's good on paper. And I was like, well, what does she look like? And she was like, well, she has, she has like, long blonde hair, but it's kind of, like, cut in the back, and I'm blue. I was like, oh, oh, blonde, blonde hair? I was like, wait, wait, is she, is she white? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, no, honey, I have, a, I have PTSD, post-traumatic slavery disorder. She was like, what are you talking about? I was like, well, my first girlfriend was white, and that's when I realized I have a real problem. I started making everything about race. Like, one day, she was in the bathroom. She was like, hey, can you hand me a cotton ball? And I was like, what? <laughs> so I'm picking cotton for you now? I'm not doing it. And then it got crazy because, you know, you know, she wanted to try, you know, stuff in the bedroom. And what do you think she wanted to try? Exactly, handcuffs and a whip. And I was like, well, hold up now. Who's whipping who? Because I'm not about to be Kunta Kinte up in this piece. I'm not doing it. And the final straw is that she wanted to go camping. <laughs> Out in the woods. And I was like, well, first of all, what does this camping that you speak of entail? She's like, well, we're going to walk in the woods, and we're going to eat in the woods, and we're going to sleep in the woods. Is it me, or does that shit sound like the Underground Railroad? I'm not doing that. <laughs> and at least then we had spirituals, mm -hmm, you know, something to keep us going. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I, uh, I have a, a gay boy that I'm, that I'm close to, like, a, you know, just like a young, fresh 30-something-year-old gay boy. And, you know, like, we had, you know, there's something sometimes like a special relationship between, like, black women and gay men. You know, we get together and we're, like, have our own language. Like, hey, auntie, hey, auntie, get, get, get. that's, like, what we do, <laughs> right? But I feel like lately he's been trying to, like, out-sister girl me. You know, like, I saw him the other day, and I was like, hey, girl, how you doing? And he answered me in color purple. I was like, what? He was like, girl child ain't safe in a family of men's. And I was like, wait, did you just color purple me? What's wrong with you? You know, and I saw him two weeks ago, and I was like, hey, girl, hey, girl. He was like, trouble don't last always. <laughs> You are a 35-year-old white boy from the Midwest. Why do you sound like a 200-year-old dead slave? This ain't beloved. Knock it off. <laughs> and I feel like, you know, I'll see him a year from now, and he's really going to take this too far. And I'll be like, hey, girl, how you doing? He'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, did you just click and pop at me? You taking this shit too far. 
Thank you all so much. My name is Gloria Bigelow. Gloria Bigelow. What a beautiful woman.